incredible story. Amazing story, it? Harry Gosling. Yeah. Now, what do you say to a complete stranger who saved your life? Well, three years ago, James O'Donnell from Manchester was 40. He was diagnosed with a severe form of aplastic anemia. It's an autoimmune disease where the bone marrow can't produce enough blood stem cells. Chemotherapy didn't work. None of James's siblings were a match to donate bone marrow, and he feared the worst. But then, a complete stranger, Leah McDougall from Liverpool, saved his life with her stem cells. They met for the first time last night at a charity gala event in London. It was quite a moment. We'll see it in just a second. But before that, let's say hello to them both, because they're both here. And thank you so much, Hi both there. of you, Hi. for coming in. Um, James, I know you've been in touch with Leah via text beforehand, but what was it like last night when you met her for the first time? Oh, it was surreal. It was an amazing moment. Um, it was one of the proudest moments of my life, um, second to my son being born. I mean, it just... It's definitely up there, and it was, uh, yeah, I just really enjoyed. It's been nice to hear that. Yeah. It's wonderful. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. I mean, it, I know you were quite emotional before Leah came on stage, so when you actually hug, I'm hopefully we can see we that go. in a minute, here we oh, go, yeah. and you actually hug, and I mean, that just, to think, Leah, you saved his life. What was it like for you to actually meet him? It, it's still surreal, isn't it, for the both yeah. of us? It's... Cloud nine yeah. is what we keep saying. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's like we're dreaming. Yeah, yeah, and it's amazing that what you've done and you, and you don't like what uh, yeah. yeah. And you call her your real life superhero. Yeah, real life superhero. I classify as a new family member because oh. she's kept me in the world. My parents bring you in the world. She's yeah. kept me in the and world. As you said, you've got a little boy, you've got a family. Yeah, you know, and she's allowed me. There he is. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um, so, Leah, how did, how did this? come about because you know people give blood they mm -hmm. have the option to go on the bone marrow register yep. i think when they give blood how, how do you go about with stem cells how did that work um so basically um there's what we call pop-up stores um which are charities for blood stem cell donations um and there happened to be one at my previous job um and all it involved was swabbing your mouth with a, a cotton swab filling a form in and sending it off and you were on the register. You right. didn't need to do anything else apart from wait for a call if you were matched with somebody. As simple as that. And it's yet, simple, yeah. you needed it so badly, that, don that donor, didn't you? Tell us sort of how ill you were. Oh, it's very ill because I had some treatment that didn't work. Um, so six, I had to wait six months and then I got told I needed this bone marrow transplant. And if it didn't have it, I wouldn't be here today. You know what I mean? I'm a son, I have a father to, to so it was um, basically, like I say, commit blood, blood cells won't produce anything to fight any illnesses off. And so is it, sorry, sorry, James, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Is it, is it a big thing, Leah, when you, when you go into hospital to, because I know with bone marrow they, they take it out of your leg, don't they? But how uh, does it work with the stem cells? Um, it take, they take it out of the pelvis. OK. Yeah, um, with the stem the, the stem cell, there's two methods mm. um, to donate. So you can do it via a blood, mm -hmm. where they extract the stem cells from the blood and then give you your blood back. Or there is the straight up bone marrow donation, mm. um, which does not hurt one bit. Mm. Um, you can carry out your general day to day activities, um, mm. there's little to no pain. Basically, and there's a website, isn't there? That... Yeah, it's um, dkms.org.uk. Um, you can order a swab kit off the website. Uh, it gets delivered to you. Do it and then send it back off. And look what that. difference yeah. that can yeah. make. And we have to say it's sheer coincidence that you're both from the northwest. You're from Liverpool. You're from Manchester. Yeah. And, and also a sheer coincidence that you're from Liverpool and you're a Liverpool yeah. fan. And yeah. You're from Manchester. And yeah. You're a Liverpool. You're fan. a Liverpool <laughs> fan. Yeah. Not sure how that one works. Thank you both Thank you so both. much for coming in. And how are you doing? You're yeah, doing it's well. been amazing. We're yep. missing, we're missing right. out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, a new restaurant and training school in Liverpool.